Center with me, Grace Korea, and uh, welcome to the program. Now let's now cross over to Serena Hotel where a Thanksgiving ceremony to mark one year since the metamorph metaphorical handshake that helped bridge the rift between the AU envoy and opposition chief leader Raila Odinga, President Uhuru Kenyatta and their followers is being hosted. The initiative sponsored by Embrace Movement and is set to be presided over by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his opposition counterpart Raila Odinga. Let's now cross over where WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka is currently addressing. And I'm told the culmination will be a national convention. But before we get to that national convention, I know the Building Bridges team are hearing a lot of things and hearing a lot of things. I keep on asking them, why is it that you are not given proper media coverage? And now I read that some are beginning to resist. To resist even the work of the, of the BBI. We can't afford it. We can't afford it, so conclude your work. Let's get on with it. If there's a referendum to be undertaken, let's undertake it. And I say within, possibly I did this once. I advocated for a non-contested referendum. Let us agree all the issues so that the document, if any, that you give to the Kenyan people will be one that one will really say yes, even with, because you can even create another problem while well, you're thinking you're doing a referendum, let's avoid the pitfalls that you're also familiar with. Sasa, ikisema uhuru tibim. Raila tialala. That was it. And the very word tialala, according to Rosa, meant terror. For us, it meant we are winning. Yeah? And others felt frightened. Let us this time round get our democracy thing right. Either we embrace democracy or we don't. Let us get our institutions also right. One year after the handshake, I'm celebrating one thing. The determination on the part of President Uhuru to win the war, not just to fight. Win this war against corruption and graft. We need to give him a big clap. And we must also be clear, media please, they are doing a wonderful job. I've been on the side of the media because some people saying propaganda and things. But media, without doing the whistle blowing, how will Kenyans know the truth? But even as you do so, please encourage everybody along. Well, the point I've also read this morning, that Uhuru's four point agenda is at the risk of collapse manufacturing, food security, health, health care. And I think they are doing well on that one. When he launched it in Kisumu and other places, universal health care, yeah? And, and I think there's one more, national security or something. Housing, 500,000 houses. That this is running the risk of collapse but for me, the law lying fruit for which President Kenyatta will be remembered by generations and generations to come is stopping public stealing, stealing of public uh, resources and saying enough is enough. And we must all give him that support. Because one year after the handshake, this is becoming evident. But it is painful. And, and I think he has made it very clear and we agree. The moment we think this is targeting an individual, we, we are losing it. It must be wherever a thief is, the thief, yeah, please avoid the temptation, even if you're in this room, to think this has something to do with an individual. Graft is our national curse at the moment. And we must deal with it. Therefore, I celebrate DCI Kinoti, I celebrate Haji, and even as I do so, EACC and other institutions that are given prominence under our constitution, Constitution 2010. Let us now begin as Kenyans to think of chapter six. Chairman of the Council of Governors, my brother Wycliffe Oparanya is here. You governors have to think of chapter six of the constitution. 
or national ethics. If we don't expunge this temptation of stealing and stealing, I, th I think we are missing it. But then, this year I cannot turn the team on your case. Yeah, not just the dumbs. Personally, as a Kenyan, I think there is now a real possibility. Kenya is expecting, oh sorry, <laughs> I must get that call. Um, <laughs> Because the president calling, maybe he's watching. <laughs> All right? So if I talk to him, I tell him, please come. Yeah? So I am saying, in conclusion, that uh, if we don't win this war against graft, we'll have lost everything. And if I was President Uhuru Kenyatta, this is the one thing I'll cling to. Expect high profile prosecutions so that Kenyans and the world will know this is a serious country. So as we embrace, I don't expect anybody to resist. You use the live event there taking place at Serena Hotel, of course, to mark one year after the handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and our opposition leader, uh, Raila Odinga. Of course, we've seen uh, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka speaking there, of course, uh, commending the president in the quest to not only fight but win the war against graft. And uh, we also understand that some of the other leaders that are currently present is uh, Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Oparanya. Of course,